Hi everybody, this is Matt from Race Glitter, and in this video we're going to be walking through the basics of creating races online using our Race Builder service. Um, if you're creating a race with more than five or six users, you might find that this is the most efficient way to create races. So you'll probably want to begin by going to raceglitter.com slash racebuilder. On this page, which introduces the service at the very bottom, we have a downloadable race builder pack. Um, this is an, an archive that contains some Excel sp spreadsheets and an instruction manual for creating race for creating the data needed to upload to our service to create races. So let's hide Safari and take a look at the kit. So inside the kit, you'll see that we have a guide to creating race glitter races. This is an instruction manual. You, you probably will not need to read that if you've watched this video. Then we include a number of templates. Uh, we include some Excel files for an interval start race, a mass start race, and a wave start race. And then we uh, also include some template CSV files, again for interval start, mass start, and wave start. Um, you can use these if you want to. Most people start with the Excel spreadsheets, manage their data, and then export a new CSV file. So that's what we'll do. We'll start by making a copy of the mass start. And then let's open that in Excel. Okay, so the template file includes seven columns, the wave number. Uh, since this is a mass start race, we don't need to put any data there the racer bib number and we've already got uh, racers one, two, and three the f racers first name, last name, email address which is optional compensation which is optional that's for uh, races involving uh, handicap racers and the last column is the category which uh, we've included here so we see that we've got um, Stephen Jones racer with bib number one he's in category men's elite Rick Mancuso uh, bib number two, men's master, and so on. So let's not add any more data to the template. We'll just create a, a race from this one. If you wanted to, you would, uh, you would, you could add hundreds of racers here. So let's go to Excel, uh, file, save as, and let's select comma separated value, CSV. We'll save that. Okay. So we've got our CSV file ready to go. Uh, we'll switch back into Race Builder. I'm already logged in. So once I'm logged in, I'm going to go to Your Races. I'm going to create a new race. Let's call it the. Athens Trail race. Uh, make this race available to the public. If I keep this setting enabled, then this race will appear on our uh, on our public schedule on racegooder.com, so that other people can download it. Um, let's say let's make the race for January the fifteenth of next year. Um, let's make it at three p.m. in the afternoon. country is going to be United States. Uh, the location is going to be Atlanta, Georgia. And the sport is trail running. Okay, so it's a mass start race. <clears throat> we don't need to enable racer compensation and the description that we'll put because we'll be showing the race to the public is um, please all racers arrive two hours early for sign in thank you so we'll now continue we've got our basic race data set up and now we're ready to build our start list. We see that a map over here updates uh, with the location. 
And um, we could add racers manually if we wanted to. We can start adding racers manually. But what we're going to do is the easier route, we're going to import a start list. Import a CSV file containing your racer, your start list of racers. So let's choose that file. That's the CSV file that we just exported. Now we continue. So the Race Builder website will analyze our CSV file and see that we're going to be importing three racers. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and import the racers. All right. So there's my three racers. They're all set up. I could edit them if I needed to to make a change. Um, we see over here in the group filter that there's uh, two groups, a total of three racers. That all looks good. So now I think I'm finished and I'm going to... Uh, <clears throat> I'm ready to import this into Race Splitter, so I need to click Get Race. And we see that the race file was sent to my email address. Perfect. All right, now at this point, if we want to, <clears throat> we can share that race link with other people who might want to download the race, other Race Splitter users. Um, we can also share that link with people who might later want to come back and, uh, and see the results over here after we've, after we've posted them. At the moment, there's no results. So now we're going to switch into Race Splitter and, uh, and see how we import this file. Okay, so Race Splitter has now sent me the, the new race file in an email message. Um, it's important that this email arrives on the device that you're running Race Splitter on. So here we're having a look at um, the email program on my iPhone, and I see that I've got an email from Race Splitter containing the Athens Trail Race. Okay, so once I've tapped that message, the message will open, and I'll see the email that I've received from Race Splitter. Um, the email contains some text with some instructions uh, of how to import the race, and we'll notice that we see the race file attachment in the email. Okay, once I tap the attachment, it will open, and I'll see the contents of the attachment. Here we can see the data that has been sent to us by the Race Builder service. So we're looking at the attachment, and we need to open it in the Race Splitter application. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap the share button, which is that little uh, button in the upper right hand corner that looks like a square with an arrow. When we tap that button, we're going to see this sheet uh, pop up. And we want to, uh, from here we want to tap the open in button. When we tap the open in button, uh, a second sheet will pop up and the iPhone will show us all of the applications that we have on the device that can open the file. Of course, from this screen, we want to tap the Race Splitter button. Having tapped the Race Splitter button, the Race Splitter application will launch and it will import my race file, creating a brand new race on the device. At this point, I'm ready to go. It's that easy. Let's say I need to make some changes to the race. I can either make them directly on the device or I can go back to RaceSplitter.com and update my data there and follow this exact same procedure to update my existing race. I usually do that, for example, when I'm taking race day registrations at the last minute. It's very fast and easy. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please contact us at help.racesplitter.com if you have any questions. Thanks and bye-bye.